At this point, um, the first of several parachutes will begin to deploy. First will be two pilot chutes. Those are uh, 6.7 square feet and 48.4 square feet. Those two pilot chutes will pull out the 172 square foot drogue chute, which will slow the Soyuz down from about 500 miles per hour to about 178 miles per hour and begin stabilizing the capsule. Then a few minutes later, the drogue chute will be jettisoned to make way for the main parachute. That one is uh, more than 5,500 square feet, and it will slow the Soyuz down to about 15.6 miles per hour before its landing. Now seeing uh, more video replays, this of the uh, parachute descent by the Soyuz TMA-01M. Again, its landing occurred at 2.54 a.m. Central Time in Kazakhstan. And teams here on the ground are getting confirmation that the Soyuz TMA-01M has landed in Kazakhstan. That brings to an end a 159 day in space for three members of the Expedition 26 crew, Commander Scott Kelly and Flight Engineers Oleg Skripochka and Alexander Kaliri. video we're actually seeing here is a replay. As you can tell, the crew waving here from inside the uh, Soyuz TMA-01M after their 254 touchdown. And the center is Alexander Kaliri, who was taken out first. And next to him, you can also make out Expedition 26 Commander Scott Kelly. Again, this is a replay of video shot earlier. at the Kazakhstan landing site. And the first crew member just now beginning to be extracted. We're just a few feet away. And we'll see who that is. It's probably Alexander Kaleri, the uh, Soyuz commander, who's now being carried uh, to uh, the chair. Yes, it is Kaleri. In fact, it is Kaleri. Uh, the Soyuz commander, who uh, wraps up today's mission as the second most traveled human being in human spaceflight history, 770 days in space on his five flights, second only to Sergei Krigalov, uh, the uh, head of the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center. Okay, so, so Alexander uh, Cleary out. That's uh, one out and two more crew members to go, and everything seems to be moving pretty quickly. Scott Kelly now, uh, having been brought right in front of me, being seated right next to Kaleri, Scott Kelly home, and uh, being helped into his chair. We'll try to get a little bit closer if we can. But uh, Kelly looked good as he was uh, extracted from the capsule. We'll try to get just a touch closer and see if we can uh, get a word in, possibly. I think we're getting just a glimpse of him here through the support personnel. There's obviously a horde of photographers uh, around uh, the site here. Uh, the crew is being bundled up in, in very, very heavy blankets to stay warm. See if we can get uh, a glimpse of Scott here. Yes, and we do have a video of him at the moment. Very good, very good, that's good. Scott Kelly uh, was seated in the right seat of the Soyuz uh, uh, during uh, today's descent. The third member of the Expedition 26 crew, Oleg Skripushka, being put in the reclining chair. So all three crew members now out of the Soyuz capsule, looking very well. Scott Kelly is looking remarkably well. Uh, he's talking with Mike Lopez Alegria, the astronaut representative here, and Kirk Shireman, the deputy ISS program manager, all on scene as part of the uh, recovery team to pick up the Expedition 26 crew today. That's great news. All three crew members safely out of the Soyuz vehicle. All three crew members are out. 
Alex Kuperska coming back from his uh, first flight into space. He conducted uh, three spacewalks during his time aboard the International Space Station. Alexander Kaleri, as we said before, the second most experienced space traveler in human spaceflight history, with 770 days of spaceflight under his belt with today's landing.